Hi Danny, so there's going to be all sorts of action this week and you're going to be right in the thick of it. <laughs> it starts when um, Robert proposes to you, can you tell us about that? Yeah, well I think it's kind of um, him, him planning to propose to him. Um, I think in typical Aaron and Robert style, uh, nothing is that easy. Um, so you kind of see the, the, the episode opening with Robert um, with a ring and it's very um, obvious what he's planning to do, which is proposed to Aaron. You'll see the kind of next week, uh, the week before it, it airs that um, actually um, Robert's um, sort of uh, waved off the idea of marriage with, with Aaron in a jokey way and Aaron takes it a little bit to heart. And I think that's where Robert realised actually this is what he wants, his commitment, and, and so do I. So um, he begins um, the episode and, and the week um, by um, by you know revealing that he is going to actually do it with the the ring, and uh, it's a question of sort of when and how he's going to do it. But then Lachlan interrupts everything, doesn't he? Yeah, typically of Lachlan, he does. Um, yeah. He uh, he kind of he turns up and and Aaron turns up at the scrapyard whilst he's there, and he's he's hearing him saying some horrible things about his dad, and um, you know the sort of the uh, conviction that his dad got. Uh, and kind of putting it on Robert that he's going to do the same to Robert, um, which obviously doesn't sit well with Aaron, and um, it all changes that um, Aaron gets hold of him and and sort of um, yeah. And he bundles him in the boot of his car. He does, yeah. he does, and um, I think it's it's his kind of way of um, trying to help Robert. Uh, Aaron's not great with business terms and money and words. He's better at sort of beating the life out of someone and putting him in the boot and teaching him that way. Um, and I think that's kind of where the contrast is nice as well between Robert and Aaron, that they've got that kind of uh, contrast of who who sort of sits well doing what, and, and Robert is the kind of business mind, and Aaron's very much the, uh, the fisticuffs knuckles kind of guy. So we have this dramatic sort of scuffle on the edge of a cliff mm. and we know that someone is going to die. Yeah. So tell us about filming filming that, the fight and the lead up to that. <coughs> yeah, well, what was amazing with it all was we were on top of this sort of 60 foot uh, drop um, just into water and sort of jagged rocks and edges and stuff and um, as you looked over it was really daunting actually. Um, and the funniest thing was, was the stunt coordinator said to us that the, the person who's got um, the zero risk is actually the people who are doing the stunt, which was us. Um, they made sure it was safe and everything, and they put us on wires that were tied to about 15 different things that would go in nowhere. So we were very much safe, and we were the safest ones. Actually, we were the ones who were going to dive over a rock, and it was amazing. And as we say, we know that um, somebody is going to die, and we know that somebody is going to um, be in a lot of trouble. Um, so whether or not that's Aaron um, is to see. Yeah, and so what was it like filming with, because um, were you in Pinewood Studios as well for some of it? We were in for yeah. some of it, yeah, um, which was amazing. Um, I mean, it, I've never worked at a studio that's just take, taken my breath away from uh, since the first day I walked into the Emmerdale Studios, that took my breath away, and ever since then it was the first time that I actually went, wow, I'm in this business, and, um, you know, I think Ryan will reiterate what I said, that it was just in working within that kind of environment was just sort of what dreams are made of really. Um, Pinewood Studios, you're walking around seeing the Bond stage, you know, Star Wars and there we are filming our stuff and it was just incredible that we were a part of it. So Rob Ron are hugely popular, there's mm -hmm. going to be a massive uproar if one of you does actually die. Yeah. What's it like working with Ryan Hawley, how do you get on? I try to find different words for Ryan because of the amount I've, I've said about him in the past because he's just, he is great to work with. and. Um, I think you know that obviously is showing on screen that we kind of get on well and we've got that chemistry and we can kind of discuss scenes and throw different ideas at each other to make them different and um, yeah we've got a great working relationship a great social relationship. Um, Are you similar kind of personality? Yeah we yeah. have we've got a very similar sense of humour quite uh, dry and um, yeah I think I think you know we, that's kind of the reason we get on as well is is that we've we've got that similar sense of humour and um, we can have a laugh on set during the long days um, but also you know that we know when to sort of turn it on shut up and get the work done um, and, uh, and and yeah and I think again that, that makes for a good partnership.